Now, the latest search for Malaysia Airlines flight MH370 ends today with still no sign of the missing plane. The Texas-based company Ocean Infinity has scanned more than 85,000 square kilometers and stood to make up to $93 million if it had found the aircraft. The new Malaysian government, however, has ruled out any further extension to the search. And Barker looks back at the four years since the plane disappeared with 239 people on board. On March the 8th, 2014, the news broke about a missing plane. Tonight, fearing the worst, the fate of six Australians unknown as a Malaysian Airlines plane disappears on... A Boeing 777 had vanished between Kuala Lumpur and Beijing with 239 people on board. These were the last words heard from the cockpit as the plane left Malaysian airspace 38 minutes after takeoff. Malaysian 370, contact Ho Chi Minh 120, Good night. Good night, Malaysia 370. Distressed relatives in Beijing were among the first to hear the plane was missing. Within hours, an aerial search had begun in the South China Sea where an oil slick was wrongly thought to have come from the plane. But no trace was found and ever since, the search for MH370 has been plagued by confusion and misinformation. I would like to refer to news reports suggesting, suggesting that the aircraft may have continued flying for some time after last contact. As Malaysian Airlines will confirm shortly, those reports are inaccurate. It soon emerged that was exactly what had happened. Malaysian military radar appeared to show the plane had turned abruptly west soon after that last contact. Its transponder and other communications were turned off. But was it an accident or deliberate? Wild theories covered every possible scenario, from a fire or electrical failure to pilot suicide, terrorism and hijacking. Two passengers were found to be travelling on fake passports. There was a suspiciously large load of lithium batteries on board, as well as 20 employees from one U.S. high-tech company. Others speculated the plane was secretly taken to Kazakhstan or a U.S. military base at Diego Garcia. Only after British Inmarsat analysed satellite signals from the plane did investigators realise how far off course it had flown. Flight MH370 ended in the southern Indian Ocean. The seventh and last signal showed its journey ended somewhere along an imaginary arc. That led to a vast and ultimately fruitless undersea search over 120,000 square kilometres that lasted more than two years. Hope was raised in the first days when sonar signals wrongly suggested the plane had been found. We are very confident uh, that the signals that we are detecting are from the black box on MH370. It turned out those pings had probably come from the search vessel itself. When that search ended, the plane appeared lost forever. But debris confirmed to have come from MH370 had been washing up on remote Indian Ocean islands and scientists studying ocean drift were able to pinpoint a more likely crash site. It's the only place that actually ticks all the boxes. Uh, it agrees with uh, Inmarsat uh, analysis. Uh, it agrees with the absence of anything being found on Australia's coast. Ongoing pressure on Malaysia responsible for the investigation led to this latest privately funded search by a US-based company. Ocean Infinity agreed to search the new zone for free and receive payment of up to $70 million only if it found the plane and solved one of modern aviation's greatest mysteries. Now, without a new search, the families of those on board may never know what happened to their loved ones. Ann Barker, ABC News.